Hello YouTube, it's Supernova, back with more DCS A10C. Today we're looking at attack and instrument approach and landing. En route from Corbelletti, we have descended to 2000 feet, approaching CRP River West. The Sinaki Kolki Takan channel has been selected. Takan is active on the Navigation Mode Select panel, or NIMSIP, and the Horizontal Situation Indicator, or HSI, as a course of 088 set. We have reported our position inbound to the Sinaki Kolki Tower. Attack and instrument approach and landing is divided into three phases. The first is the penetration descent. In this phase, with throttle set to 80% core RPM, a descent at 1,500 feet per minute or FPM is made, with speed brakes open at 40% to maintain airspeed between 200 and 250 knots. The second phase is level off. The aircraft is returned to level flight with airspeed at a minimum of 150 knots. In the tack and approach phase, final landing configuration and airspeed is established prior to the final approach fix. The final approach fix is the approximate position of the outer marker, which in this case is 5 miles from the Takan station and the Sinaki Kolki airfield. Flaps are down, landing gear extended and indicators checked. Throttles are set to 80% core RPM and indicated airspeed is between 200 and 250 knots. Speed brakes open at 40% to maintain airspeed between 200 and 250 knots. Turning to a heading of 022 to intercept a bearing of 088 to the Takan station. Descending at 1500 FPM. The vertical speed indicator or VSI indicates level flight. Airspeed is 150 knots minimum. The course deviation indicator or CDI is approximately centered on the HSI. Flaps in the down position. Landing gear extended. Place the vertical velocity indicator, or VVI, also referred to as the flight path marker, or FPM, on the desired touchdown point. Note the angle of attack, or AOA, indexer on the left front canopy rail. A green circle, or donut, indicates correct on-speed angle of attack. An inverted V indicates high speed and a V low speed. If the donut is combined with high or low speed indications, slightly high or low speed is indicated. Throttles are used to control descent rate and aircraft pitch airspeed in order to establish and maintain correct on-speed angle of attack. One mile from the desired touchdown point we are 300 feet above the ground. 
Touchdown speed is normally 10 knots lower than the final approach airspeed. Slowly retard throttles to idle. After touchdown, throttles as required. Speed brakes as required. Nose wheel steering activate when speed is below 70 knots. After clearing the runway, flaps as required. Hood day night filter day. Hood off. Radar warning system off. Anti collision lights off. Landing taxi lights as required. Position lights bright flash. Pito heat off. Takan ILS equipment off. I hope you enjoyed that look at approach and landing using Takan. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe and I hope to see you again for the next DCS A10C video.